Later this week, SpaceX will launch a cargo rocket to the International Space Station. And on board will be an image honoring the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's mission to the moon. Rocket man Elon Musk is the founder of SpaceX, and he's a big fan of the lunar landing and of landing on other places, too. He talks with Time Magazine editor-at-large, Jeffrey Kluger. It was 50 years ago, on July 20th, 1969, when Apollo 11 commander Neil Armstrong took his giant leap. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And became the first person to walk on the moon. What a three-footer. 19 minutes later, Lunar Module pilot Buzz Aldrin joined him on the lunar surface. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Sparking the imaginations of countless explorers and of one little boy in South Africa. You came along two years after Apollo 11, right. and yet space seems to be in your marrow. Apollo 11 landing on the moon was probably the most inspiring thing in history. It certainly inspired me. I'm, I'm not sure SpaceX would exist if not for Apollo 11. Elon Musk is the founder, CEO, and lead designer of SpaceX, short for Space Exploration Technologies. His privately held company makes rockets and spacecraft. I kept expecting that we would continue beyond Apollo 11, that we would have a base on the moon that we would be sending people to Mars. And here we are in 2019, the United States actually does not yet have the ability to send people even to low Earth orbit. Which is why SpaceX is one of the companies that delivers cargo to the International Space Station while the Russians transport crews. That's because NASA's space shuttle program ended in 2011. It may be sad about the future. You know, when you get up in the morning, what fires you up? Like, what, what gets you excited about being alive? Here at SpaceX headquarters in the Los Angeles suburb of Hawthorne, what excites this 48-year-old billionaire is the idea that lots of human beings might one day live on other planets, especially Mars. One of the sweetest spots in all the world for people who love space is pad 39A. It's the best pad. Best pad. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance it's the pad channel. that sent Apollo 11 to the moon. We have a liftoff. Many of NASA's most memorable missions began here as well. Hallowed ground at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. You're looking at a live view of the Falcon Heavy on historic launch pad 39A. At I can't believe we get to use this pad. And that's that my question. Insane honor. What does that wow. feel like? We're not worthy. <laughs> 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 to be sure, since its founding in 2002, SpaceX has had many achievements. It's the first private company to launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft and watch its historic recovery of an orbital rocket's first stage landing safely on an ocean platform. And Falcon has cleared the tower. There have also been a number of setbacks along the way. Musk often uses the expression rapid reusability. Why, he argues, should rockets make only one trip? Like, like an aircraft, like when, when an aircraft lands, you only expect to refuel it, maybe uh, replace you know, water and food. Clean out the clean seat it, backs. Clean it out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's minor. The normal expectation is uh, that you, you can refly the, the, the plane very rapidly. You can turn around in an hour and, and fly somewhere else. This is what needs to happen with rockets. Elon Musk isn't the only billionaire thinking big. Release, release, release. Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic will offer commercial space flights for tourists. And Amazon's Jeff Bezos has founded Blue Origin in hopes of building space colonies. I think it's good what Jeff Bezos is doing with Blue Origin. You know, occasionally I'll like rub him a little bit, but you know, I think it's good what he's doing. And Musk issue. isn't yeah, only just, thinking big, very, very he's strange. thinking so fast. Regular trips to the space station? To, to launch crew to the space station? Crew to the space. My, my guess is about six months. Visiting the moon? Well, this is gonna sound pretty crazy, but we're certainly with, an, with 
an uncrewed vehicle, I believe we could land on the moon in two years. But always on his horizon, the planet Mars. Sending crews to Mars in four years, I, I think that, that sounds pretty doable. Like internally, we would aim for two, yeah. two years, and then reality might be four. One day, he even imagined cities on the red planet. To have a self-sustaining city on Mars, now, now you're going to say, like, okay, how are you going to get a million tons to right. Mars? Literally, yeah. a million tons. And that's some serious payload. That's the, yeah. yeah. In the long run, there's no telling what lies ahead for inhabitants of our planet Earth. But Elon Musk says he wants humanity to survive wherever we make our home. You want to believe that we're going to be out there among the stars. And that's, that's the thing that, I mean, I get really excited about that kind of future. I think most people do.